by selecting the scene tab we have a couple options which will allow us to set a scale in Blender. Currently it's set to none which is Blender units. They're, that's a relative thing uh, so it might not work for us in this case. Most people will use the metric system and you can indicate millimeters by adding two decimal points here. In the US we will use the imperial system indicating inches, feet, and so on. Set that to one. Uh, we'll want to open up the transform uh, panel here, object transform panel. We see a couple indications about the scale and dimensions. Here it's indicating uh, six feet which might be a little big for 3D printing, so let's go ahead and scale that down a bit. That's three feet. Uh, let's go all the way down to 11 inches, and we'll zoom in. This is great. This is within reason. Uh, I might as well make it smaller. And you can see that the scale changes uh, if you change the dimension, uh, although you can uh, scale up and down. This is not going to work out if you're going to send it out to a 3D printer. You'll want this to be set at 1 uh, to better reflect the ultimate dimensions of the piece. Blender has its own way of calculating scale, and when you export the file, you'll want to make sure that this is scale factor of 1. To do that, we'll hit Control A within this window to apply scale. That simply brings that down to 1 again, brings this to 1 one and some feet exactly. Now that we've scaled this object to a particular dimension we can accurately predict how it would fit over a ring, onto a wrist, uh, into a hole, these sort of things that you need to consider when creating parts with 3D printing.